and I hit the camera button. But anyway, this is what it's doing. Um, when you put the phone in here, it's pulling the springs and they don't always retract again. And you can see that I've duct taped it because one day I had the tripod folded up and it was uh, it was on its side, kind of in the floor for some reason, and I kicked it. It spun around in the floor and all these pieces came flying everywhere. <laughs> it's so... <sighs> I guess the tripod isn't really to blame. It's just the phone mount. I don't know. I have had a rough week, guys. I really, really have. And I think it's time to just... Take this thing off. Well, whatever. And throw it in the trash can because it's failing me too many times. And I've got all kinds of cracks and stuff in my phone screen, so this is not good. Anyway, guys, I wanted to end this properly, so hmm. thank all of you for watching. Um... If any of you have expertise in 3D printing, um, let me know and let me know what I would need to do in order to get the uh, dimensions and whatever to you because uh, I don't have an accessible, um, precise uh, measuring tool. So what I would probably have to do is send you the, um, send you a broken battery cover that came with my second baby Heather that I bought to try and maybe make the first one work, but no, no such luck. Oh, anyway, so sorry to my blind subscribers that this wasn't um, appealing to you, not really, but I'll get back on the Ibo wagon in a few days and we will try and resume normal operations. So anyways, like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. God bless and I will see you in the next video.